Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing polynomial equations. So we have the following objectives for today's topic. The first one is to determine the roots of polynomial equation. And then, the next is to illustrate polynomial equations. And then, the last one is to appreciate the process of getting the roots of the polynomial equation. So, one thing we need to remember in finding the roots of a polynomial equation is it is easy to give the roots of a polynomial equation when the polynomial is expressed as a product of linear factors. So we have the fundamental theorem of algebra, wherein if p of x is a polynomial equation of degree n and with real coefficients, then it has at most n real roots. So meaning to say whatever the value of the degree of the polynomial will also be the value of the real roots. This relationship was discovered by the German mathematician Carl Friedrich Gauss. So let's have our first example. Determine the degree of polynomial, number of real roots, and the roots of the given polynomial equation x minus 3 times the quantity of x plus 1 times the quantity of x minus 1 is equal to 0. So the polynomial equation is expressed as product of linear factors. So we need to determine first the degree of polynomial. So in determining the degree of polynomial, so we will just inspect the equation by multiplying all the variables. So we have here x, so x times x will be x squared, and then x squared times x will be x to the third power. So meaning to say x to the third power, so the degree of polynomial is the value of the exponent, which is cubed or to the third power. So the degree of polynomial is equal to 3. And then after that, we will find the number of real roots. And according to the theorem, the value of the degree of polynomial is also the value of the real roots of the polynomial equation. So if the value of the degree of polynomial is equal to 3, then the value of the number of real roots is also equal to 3. And then after that, we will get the roots of the polynomial equation. So since this is expressed as product of linear factor, we can solve it using zero product property, wherein we will equate one of the factor by zero. So we have x minus 3 equals to zero, transpose negative 3, so the value of x will be equal to 3. So this will be the value of our first root. And then after that, let's have x plus 1 equals 0. And then transpose positive 1, it will be negative 1. So x will be equal to negative 1, the value of the second root. And then after that, we will equate x minus 1 equals 0. And then transpose negative 1, it will be positive 1. So the value of the third root is x is equal to 1. Therefore, the roots of the polynomial equation are 3, negative 1, and 1. So let's have our second example. Determine the degree of polynomial, number of real roots, and the roots of the given polynomial equation, x minus 3 to the second power times the quantity of x plus 2 to the second power equals 0. So the first step is to identify the degree of polynomial. So we will inspect the equation. So since x is the variable and it has an exponent which is to the second power, so we will multiply it by itself. So x times x will be x squared. And same goes here. This is x times x will be equal to x squared. So since we have x squared here, and another x squared here, so we will multiply this two variables. So x squared times x squared will be x to the fourth power. So x to the fourth power, the exponent or the degree of the polynomial is equal to fourth degree. So the degree of polynomial is equal to four. 
And then after that, according to fundamental algebra theorem, whatever the value of the degree of the polynomial is also the value of the real root. So if the degree of polynomial is equal to 4, then the value of the real roots is also equal to 4. And then after that, we will get the roots of the polynomial equation. So since this polynomial equation is expressed as product of linear factors, so we can compute it using zero product property. So we will equate one of the factor by zero. So since x minus 3 is raised to the second power, so this will be repeated two times. So we have x minus 3 is equal to zero. So x will be equal to 3. And then we will repeat x minus 3 is equal to 0. Transpose negative 3, it will be positive 3. So x will be equal to 3. And then we have x plus 2 to the second power. So we will use the equation two times. So we have x plus 2 is equal to 0. So x will be equal to negative 2. So this will be the value of the third root. And then after that, let's use x plus 2 again equals 0. And then transpose again, x will be equal to negative 2. So this will be the value of the fourth root. So therefore, the roots of the polynomial equation are 3, which appeared 2 times, and then negative 2, which appeared 2 times or has 2 multiplicity. So let's have our next example. Determine the degree of polynomial, number of real roots, and the roots of the given polynomial equation x plus 8 times the quantity of x minus 7 times the quantity of x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals 0. So since the equation is not yet expressed as product of linear factor since it has a quadratic equation, so we need to express this as product of linear factors. To do that, we need to factor the quadratic equation. So the factor of x squared minus 4x minus 5 is x minus 5 times the quantity of x plus 1. So we have the product of linear factor x plus 8 times the quantity of x minus 7 times the factor of the quadratic equation which is x minus 5 times x plus 1 equals 0. And then the next step is we will now identify the degree of the polynomial. So the degree of the polynomial, we will multiply all the variables. We have x times x times x times x. We will just add the exponent that will make it x to the fourth power. And the degree of the polynomial is the exponent, which is equal to 4. And then after that, we will find the number of real roots. So whatever the value of the degree of the polynomial is also the value of the real roots. So the value of the real roots is equal to 4. And then we will determine the roots of the polynomial equations. So since this is expressed as product of linear factors already, we can easily get the roots of the polynomial equation by equating it by 0 and using zero product property. So we have x plus 8 is equal to 0. So x will be equal to negative 8. We have x minus 7 equals 0, so x will be equal to positive 7. And then we have x minus 5 equals 0, so we have x is equal to 5. And then the last root, we have x plus 1 equals 0, so x will be equal to negative 1. Therefore, the roots of the polynomial equation are negative 8, 7, 5, and negative 1. So let's have our last example. Determine the degree of polynomial, number of real roots, and the roots of the given polynomial equation x times x plus 1 times the quantity of x minus 2 times the quantity of x squared plus 10x plus 24. So since this is not expressed yet as product of linear factors because it has a quadratic equation, so we will try to factor x squared plus 10x plus 24. So we will think of two numbers which has a sum of 10 and a product of 24. That is 6 and 4 because 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 and then 6 times 4 is equal to 24. So the factor of x squared plus 10x plus 24 is x plus 4 
times the quantity of x plus 6. So we have the product of linear factors x times x plus 1 times the quantity of x minus 2 times the quantity of x plus 6 times the quantity of x plus 4 equals 0. And then after that, we will get the degree of the polynomial. So we will multiply all the variables. We have x times x, x squared, x squared times x is x to the third power, x to the third power times x is x to the fourth power, and x to the fourth power times x is x to the fifth power. Since the leading term is x to the fifth power, so the degree of the polynomial is just the exponent. So we have the degree of polynomial is equal to 5. And then after that, we will get the number of real roots, whatever the value of the degree of polynomial is also the value of the real root. So we have 5 real roots. So we will get the roots of the polynomial equation. So since this is already expressed as product of linear factors, we can solve it using zero product property. So we will equate x by zero. So x will be equal to zero. So the first root is equal to zero. And then after that, we have x plus 1 equals 0. Transpose positive 1, it will become negative 1. So the second root is negative 1. And then x minus 2 is equal to 0. So x will be equal to positive 2. And then the fourth root, we have x plus 6 is equal to 0. So transpose positive 6, it will become negative 6. So the fourth root is equal to negative 6. And the last root, so we have x plus 4 equals 0, and then x will be equal to negative 4. Therefore, the roots of the polynomial equation are 0, negative 1, 2, negative 6, and negative 4.